My dad was a doctor in the Air Force during the Vietnam War. My mom, a community volunteer, taught me to help others. My two brothers and I grew up in a strong family that believed service to our country and our community was part of living our values. And then when I was around 13 years old, just entering junior high school, I met Mrs. Pass, an American history teacher from a small town in North Carolina who taught me what our Constitution and the Bill of Rights meant. That was it. I learned what made our country special from an outstanding teacher. Individual freedom, equal opportunity, personal liberty. Mrs. Pass taught that these values were part of our nation's promise to make people's lives better. And that promise became my life's work. I was raised to believe that you can do anything, be anything. But too many people in North Carolina today feel that's becoming harder and harder. People just want some economic security. They want to know that they can support their family. They want to afford quality health care. Veterans, like my dad, want to know that there's a VA hospital ready to help those who fought for freedom. Seniors want to know that Medicare and Social Security that they paid for and were promised will be there. Parents want to know that their kids can realize their full potential without being crushed by the weight of student loan debt. We all want a government that puts people first. That's why I'm running for United States Senate. No, I don't have every answer. And I won't promise to make all problems immediately disappear. But what I do have is a strong faith in America's promise to make people's lives better like every other challenge I've faced, I won't back down just because it's hard. Yes, I have that faith, but I have something else too. When I graduated from high school, Mrs. Pass, my American history teacher, gave me a charm. I put it on a chain and wear it around my neck to this day. It reminds me what I learned from her all those years ago. Where there is freedom, there is opportunity. Where people's rights are threatened, they must be defended. And all of them are entitled to an elected government that actually solves problems for good. I'm Deborah Ross, and I look forward to seeing you on the campaign trail.